Today is election day in the Philippines, and we're going to talk about seven things that you should never do in the Philippines. It's coming at you right now. As a foreigner coming to the Philippines, you should be aware of all seven of these things that you shouldn't do, and it will make your trip much more pleasant. So here they are. Number one, never ever try to buy alcohol or consume alcohol the day of or the day before an election. It's actually a crime here to buy, to sell, to give away, or to drink liquor the day before an election or the day after. And this law has teeth, serious teeth. You could go to prison for one to six years and there is no probation. Number two, and another election law here in the Philippines, is that you cannot campaign the day before an election. There's actually a cooling off period. Of course, if you're a foreigner coming here, you ought not be campaigning, period, because that's not consistent with the law here either. And you can get in big, big trouble for trying to interfere. Number three, do not get involved romantically with a married Filipina. It is actually a crime to commit adultery here in the Philippines, and both the man who's committing the adultery and the woman can go to prison for that. Interestingly enough, however, it is not a crime for a man to have an affair with an unmarried Filipina unless he's financially supporting her. However, if I was the husband in that situation, and your wife finds out, you probably like never want to eat anything she serves for you again. Just saying. In fact, where I come from, the state I live, it's a grounds for divorce to try to poison your husband. Not poison your wife, but poison your husband. So you wonder where these laws came from. Huh. You know, in retrospect, just don't cheat, period. Whatever country you're in. Number four, do not get confrontational here in the Philippines. As a foreigner, just be happy that you're here. Don't try yelling at people when you don't get your way. This is a country where people do not scream and yell at each other when they're displeased in public. It is a losing of faith, face, and you do not want to do that here. It's not like in your home country where people will tolerate you more being a jerk. It's not gonna happen here. I was in a grocery store at one point and there was another foreigner. They were very upset about the line situation and they start raising their voice and yelling and pointing at their watch. And all you're doing is embarrassing yourself. And you're embarrassing especially the people that are with you who are Filipinos. So just don't do it. Everybody's gonna think you're a jerk and the situation may escalate and you find yourself in a position you don't want to be in. Number five, don't try to come to the Philippines unless you are a resident or you are married and traveling with a Filipino or Filipina unless you have an onward ticket. It's a big no-no. So it doesn't have to be a round trip ticket, but it does have to be an onward ticket showing that you have a plane ticket allowing you to depart before whatever visa or visa on arrival time passes when you come to the Philippines. You can be denied a boarding pass. The airline can deny you boarding on the plane unless you can show proof. Now, I've never once even been asked for this in all of my travels to the Philippines, and I've never had one of my family members who came who were actually asked for that. But I do know people who they risked it, did not have that or a throwaway ticket, and they had to buy one quickly at the airport before they would be allowed to board on the plane. And it's much more expensive to do that. Don't risk your trip. Number six, always have some cash with you in the Philippines. Do not depend upon credit cards and debit cards. Some days you'll go to a store where you can use the credit card. The very next day, the credit card reader's just not accepting credit cards for some reason or foreign credit cards. Sometimes you'll go to an ATM at a mall and literally all four, five, six ATMs will be totally out of cash and not be able to dispense. 
you might have to go all the way across town and those be out of cash too. So always have some cash money on you for emergencies when the cards aren't going to work. Finally, number seven, do not try to cut line here in the Philippines. In fact, don't try to cut line anywhere in the world. It's just rude, but it's especially rude here in the Philippines. And occasionally you will see people who are bypassing the line, and that's because stores have a special exception in the Philippines for elderly people, handicapped people, and pregnant women. So when you see that, be glad that those people are actually getting some privilege of being in that position. Something that we ought to consider when we're in America doing and making it mm, a little nicer. Some people in the Philippines felt so strongly about this trying to jump line or cut queue that several years ago there was legislation that was proposed that would actually make it a crime to try to cut in line at the grocery store or the Jollibees or some sort of government offices. I can't tell if it ever passed or not, but it definitely was proposed in the legislature because I read some of it. All right, guys, that's our special election day. Seven things not to do while you're here in the Philippines. Hope you enjoyed that video. I hope it was useful to you. And if you like this content, please subscribe. It really helps my channel. Let's me know that you guys like it and to keep bringing you content like this. And don't forget to like the video and leave a comment down below of what you thought or what you think people should know about when they come to the Philippines that they should not do.